Hey you guys, it's Hardcore Carnivore Elimination Diet on a Budget, day eight. So come on you guys, let's get this day started. Hey everyone, good morning, actually good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Loving It on Keto. Yes indeed, today has been a very busy morning. We had to, <laughs> We got woken up, the gardener was here, the people to trim our trees were here, noise and, and mayhem to get Sally taken care of, and then Harry had to go, and Sally, Harry, and I all went for him to get his appointment with physical therapy and potential needling today. He was there for two and a half hours. They did a complete uh, rundown. What did they do? They took a complete medical history. Oh, yeah, he all. talked about everything. He manipulated you everywhere. And he's decided right now he does not need needling. He feels it's a sprain and it's not a tear in the glute. He's thinking it could be the um, iliopsoas muscle, which is a very large muscle that runs across the back and down your leg. But he's gonna start physical therapy with him and work with him three days a week. Well, he's gonna get the MRI from the doctor. He's gonna get, okay, come back and talk. Come no, on. that's all I need to say. Oh, so he's gonna get the MRI and look at it and the x-rays that Harry had done prior to coming here just to make sure that that's what it is. But after manipulating him, poking, prodding, and checking at this point in time, he does not think he needs the needling, which is putting deep seated needles in, he's, he yep. said, to push and does the same thing it does in the, when, with hands-on, yeah. except it's deeper in the muscle if it's needed. Yes, so we're going with that. We took Sally with us because I wanted to check her. Now, since day before yesterday, she has not had any diet. She has not had a bowel movement at all. She did not eat anything yesterday. She fasted. She had water. Um, this morning, she was more alert. She took water by herself. She had some chicken. We took her to a vet and they did a complete workup of her, checked everything, checked her teeth, her mouth, palpate, did everything. And what he thinks is right now, he wants to put her on a bland diet. He said specifically, go to Sprouts and get the just shredded chicken all white meat he says all it has in it is chicken salt and vinegar and this is exactly what it is you guys and this is sally's food not our food it's not part of our budget so don't come after me um got, <laughs> got the chicken that he said to get he said to get this rice that you can nuke because I said, I don't want to buy a whole bunch of rice. He said, actually, these work the best, especially for such a little dog. This will last her the whole entire week. We don't have to worry about it. Steam that. And he said, if you can find low sodium chicken broth without onions and garlic in it, get it for her. He said, onions and garlics are not good for dogs. So don't give them onion and garlic spices or onion and garlic period um, this one is chicken broth natural flavor yeast extract and sea salt and you can keep the jar and you can keep the jar so this one is the one he said to get i just wanted to share with you just to put a little bit of broth in there if she wants it and he said the low sodium is fine the sodium in the chicken is fine he said all of this is fine and give it to her for about a week and see how she does then reintroduce i told her that we give her people food the chicken the ground turkey he said, if you give them beef, give them the 90-10, drain off all the fat because they can get pancreatitis very easily on fat. You have to be very careful giving your dog additional fats because they can cause an issue with their stomach. So he palpitated her that she has a little bit of an elevated temperature, but not enough to be alarmed about anything. Her eyes are bright and clear. Her nose is clean. It, it's cold. It's not runny. You know, he did a workup on her teeth. He says... Yeah, she potentially could have a tooth cleaning. And when he does that, he'll just nip her little beauty mark off at the same time. But she doesn't really need that. She's eight. And he was very pleased. Better, her teeth are better than what he had hoped for because of her age and chihuahua. Small dogs tend to get more plaque, evidently. 
you guys, it is 341, and those are the things we did. We went by our P.O. box on the way home, got that, went to Sprouts, bought her her food. I need to cook her food to see if she will eat some. And then I need to cook Harry and I some food. We've been fasting. We, we, we got our water going this morning and headed out the door. So Harry is hangry. Very hangry. Yes, he is. Yeah, yes, be quiet is. right now. So <laughs> he wants hamburger. He wants it now. So let me get Sally's food started. Let Harry feed the baby. And then we will feed ourselves. And I'm basically going to take the rest of our hamburger which is a pound and a half approximately right cut it in half and have three quarters of a pound of hamburger and if you guys don't have butter you can always put bacon grease on this you can always put tallow on this you don't have to have butter on yours and then you don't have to have any of those things if you don't want to but it tastes delicious with butter so butter's better Yes, indeed. So, you guys, we'll come back in the next segment after we get Sally Princess Girl. Sally Princess Girl, her food. Yes, indeed. He said hold off on the, the dried liver, hold off on her vitamins. We told him the vitamins we were giving her, the taurine, the pet tabs, the... Pet, probio lab. pet lab probiotics prebiotics and the msm pure we told him all of those things and he was very happy he actually said you know if you guys are willing to do that and you're giving her like ground turkey and ground chicken or you know boneless skinless chicken breasts he said that's really what dogs should be eating he says if some people don't want to do people's food and that's fine i said and eggs i said we give her the yolks he said that's fine you know so i was really pleased with the fact that he didn't say at any time, you must feed kibble, you must give her this, that, or the other thing, did he, Harry? Mm -mm, he liked like exactly that. what we were giving her, which made me feel <sighs> good. Anyway, you guys, Miss Little Sally jumped up on her couch. She's all excited, but we went, we've got to fix her food, and that's Daddy's job. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. Yes, indeed. You guys, for those of you who are brand new, our dog was having problems, and so we went to the vet, got that taken care of. Harry did something to his glute, his hip, his area. Um, he has a hip replacement on, so we had to take care of that today. But now we get to take care of us. Yes, indeed. I'm, we cut the chicken up into little strips. We, um, oh, didn't I put one in here? That's silly of me. I made all of them and was gonna freeze them all. So we took the chicken, cut it up very small, took the rice, mixed it in. So she's got some food now. And chicken is high in taurine, so we don't need to worry about that. Anyway, the doctor was pleased with the food we're giving her, which made me feel good because a lot of um, vets these days push a branded product in a bag, you know, and we give her her high, what is it called? I can't remember the name of the, the kibble that we give her to just for her treats. We have to be very careful with any treats. He said make sure they are pure ingredients, no sugar, low in fat. So we have to be very careful with those Why things. Why should it be low in fat, Wendy? Because dogs get pancreatitis. Easily. They, easily. He said some people pour bacon grease on their dog's food or th give their dog all the fat or put copious amounts of coconut oil on their dog's food thinking they need to do that and he said they don't especially chihuahuas have issues with pancreatitis so just so you know that's what he said and this is our vet so i am not a vet or a doctor i'm just sharing the information that we glean from sally's appointment so if you have a pet and you're giving them food he said 90 10 percent beef drain the fat he said turkey and chicken, you know, white meat, chicken, no skin is the best. Um, you can give them brown meat as long as you pull the fat and the skin off on occasion. And turkey meat, you know. He said those are very healthy for dogs. There's taurine in those things. And um, eggs, egg yolks are better than egg um, whites, but you can give them both. And he said it's better to cook them. That's just him. Cook the whites. Everybody seems to say cook the whites. Human doctors, Dr. Ken Berry, Dr. Chafee, those guys all say cook the whites. Let the yolk be runny. So I'm just saying. So we feed Sally those types of things. And I think that that's what's made her healthy 
through the eight years of her little life since we adopted her. Anyway, it's time to feed Harry. Harry did have a chicken uh, quarter this, right, morning this morning with his pills. Right. So he's already had his chicken. And I need to make chicken for tomorrow? Or do you want me to pull out a chicken and make the chicken thighs? No, I think I'd rather just go with hamburger tomorrow, I think. Well, the problem is, is I had to pull hamburger out a few minutes ago, and it is frozen. And you have one chicken left. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, half I don't. A, you have half a chicken Take left. Take a look at it. Yeah, it's, it's, half, it's a little teeny look. bit. Well, you, oh, it's even been nibbled on. Yep. Well, then I better bring out the chicken, too, and cook it tomorrow so you have something. You have some steak that we had. There's also some of this ground turkey that was Sally's that was just plain ground turkey you can heat and yeah, have tomorrow. That. So you can eat that so it doesn't go to waste. We also have eggs. Anyway, getting back to business because it's our turn. And this is one about one and a half pounds. I split it in half. And that's what we're having, you guys. Yep. I just make patties, oh, put really it in the air fryer. And I'm telling you, it is so easy, so delicious. Quick, quick, quick. If you're out and about and you have to go through a drive-in, just ask them for the large hamburger patties because they, some of the, most of them have the bigger patties versus the small ones. They have quarter pound versus the one pound cooked, two pound, two ounce. So like, where's the best place ounce. to go for the biggest hamburger patty, you think? Um, I think that Wendy's, Baconator, or just plain, you know, the big, yeah. big burgers. I think Quarter Pounders, McDonald's. I think um, Burger King, the, the original big sandwiches. You have to just ask them because a hamburger patty is like two ounces cooked. It's, it's, it, they're dinky winky. They're, they're little teeny weeny. So like In-N-Out Burger and McDonald's regular hamburger patty, they're teeny weeny. You need more than that. Anyway, you guys. I'm gonna, I kind of, I like, uh, I think I like Wendy's the best. Do you? Yeah. But then again. I'm, well, they, they, they don't, it's, their meat is not frozen. Right. It's 100% USDA better. choice, 100% beef. They don't ever freeze it, so they have it first thing in the morning. So it, to us, it's. It's not cooked in a microwave. Yeah, and McDonald's has a little bit of gristle in it. We don't care for as much of McDonald's. Well, theirs is frozen and cooked in a microwave. And we like Burger King because they flame broil it. It's under a flame broil and it has a nice smoky deliciousness. So, so if you're out and about, just drive through and ask them for the large hamburger patties. We usually each use at least three or four if we're just doing hamburger patties. Now, if you can have bacon and cheese, get a triple uh, bacon and cheese bacon baconator. And baconator. Hold the sauce, hold the lettuce, hold the tomatoes, hold the onions. And it's delicious with a little mustard if you have to have something on it. But we really, really, really like that. So, so I did have, the last time we ate McDonald's, what did we have? That was really good. That was good. the double quarter pounder with double cheese. Double quarter pounder with cheese. That turned out and to be pretty said, good. I was no, amazed. Right. You know. We said hold the bun, hold the pickles, hold the sauce. Right. Add mustard. Right. That's before this challenge when we were keto. Right. Keto right. bores. So. You can get them anywhere. Uh, Carl's Jr. has them, but get the big patties, not the regular patties when you talk to them through the window. You know, because you'll get small patties and that's okay. Just get the ones, just say, do you have large patties and small patties? If they say yes, if they say we only have one size, then that's what you're gonna have to go with. And I would say, well, what is the size? Is it a quarter pound? Is it a half, you know, is it an eight ounce? What size is this? Ask them and then figure out that's raw weight, not cooked weight. Rather have one extra than not enough. Right. Yes. So, like, right now we can't have cheese on them. No. If we were to go through right now, we couldn't have cheese. At least not this month. Right. I would just say hamburger patties. Uh, hamburger patties and that's it, right? And a side of bacon if you want it. Yeah. A side of bacon's fine. Yep. I think. As long yep. as it's not that sweet bacon, you know? Well, usually they don't have the sweet bacon, I don't yeah, I know. think. Usually it's just you know, if you're really picky, you, you can hold the bacon, but you can always get hamburger patties anywhere. We love uh, Whataburger patties. Yeah. They're very good. Five Guys hamburger patties are absolutely delicious. 
Um, so there's plenty of options out there that are less expensive. And actually, Denny's has good hamburger patties yeah, flavor-wise now. Right? I know they use canola oil on the grill and stuff. That and you can ask thing. them to, that you're allergic to soy. Can they please just clean one portion of the grill and just cook your hamburgers naked or plain? Just plain with nothing on them. And they'll bring them to you. But they do have good meat. I, I, I've been pleased with the meat and you can order eggs as well there too and have one put on top. Red Robin has the, um, what's Robin the ultimate, one. what's the burger we get with the egg on it? They have one that comes with an egg oh, on an top egg. Yeah, I know. and just ask for an extra patty. That way you get two patties, um, a slice of cheese if you can have dairy, if not tell them to omit it. You can have a side salad if you want it and it's uh, the side salad is unlimited. You know, tell them to hold the bread, all of those good things when you order. I basically deconstruct it and I said, hey, I want two hamburger patties and I would like an egg on that or two eggs on that. Can you just write it up any which way you need to? But that's basically what we want. And I go, okay, I can do that. Yeah, but I, I've never had anybody tell me no. Now, if they give it to me with, uh, with the with the wrap, I take the wrap off. Yeah, with lettuce on yeah, it. You say protein me. style. I don't use it. That's no big. We just put the lettuce aside. It's like having paper on it. We just take it off, move it to the side. Yeah, because me and lettuce and my, you know, I don't get along. And we've even had restaurants say, you know, I'm just going to take a little bit off or we're just going to do it aside, talk to my manager. A lot of really good waitresses or waiters will say, you know, we're going to do it this way or I decided to do it this way for you, which is really nice. They go out of their way for you. And if they don't, they don't. But we've never had an issue with it and it works really, really well. And hamburger, you can go to a dive bar in a little podunk town out in the middle of nowhere. If they serve hamburger and french fries, you can get and stay carnivore. Yes, you can. Oh yeah, you Anyway, you guys. But I want, I'd like to hear from everybody. Turn around. I would like to know where you guys like to go. You know, what do you guys like? Because- If you're traveling. If you come up with something that we don't know about, I want to try it out is, you know, and if you guys like to eat yours a certain way, I'd like to hear that too, because you might have a good idea. Yep, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. So let us know when you travel or if you want something to eat, where do you go if you are eating carnivore? Tell us where you go and how you order your carnivore. Your blah, blah, blah. Let us know how you order your carnivore meal, especially if you're on the road. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to put this on 400 degrees. I'm going to do it 10 minutes. Then I'm going to turn it over and cook it until it's the color that we like. I like mine pink in the middle. Harry likes his a little bit less pink. So that's what we're doing. And we're gonna bring it out and put a little dollop of butter on it. And that's what we're having to eat. So you guys will see you in the next segment. Yeah, she's being a good girl. We had to coax feet, hand feed her, and then she decided to eat the rest. So. Okay, is it all done now? Yeah, all done. Oh, she's liking that little piece of rice. Mm -hmm. She's getting into it now. Say hi, everybody. We'll be back in the next segment. Oh, the dinger went off. Yes, it did. Ooh. Okay, hamburgers are done now. You guys. You don't have to put butter on top, but it's absolutely yum dilly umptious with it. You can put bacon grease. If you don't have or don't like or don't want to use butter, you can put ghee on it, you can put tallow on it, or you can leave it just the way it is. We don't, uh, I put salt around the plate and a little on top, so we have something to dip on it, don't we, Harry? Yep. Because it's delicious that way. So you can get beef tallow. You can get beef butter. Um, there's all kinds of things, but Harry and I just like a little dab of butter on top, don't we, dear? Yep. So I just take my fork, put on about a tablespoon of butter. About a tablespoon of butter. Because butter is better in our opinion. And there you go, you guys. Got to eat now. It's absolutely delicious, healthy, nutritious, and hardcore carnivore. Yes, indeed. But you guys know what that means. Got to eat now. 
Hey everyone, I was so proud of doing my one closet. I have three. I know, oh, don't yeah. judge. Yep. I did my bedroom closet, which does not hold my Fluvog collection or my boot collection or my dresses or the sweaters or my purses. But I did my bedroom closet and so many of you have kind of wanted to see some of my shoe collection. So this shoe collection is basically my sandals, my tennis shoes, my booties, and my flat um, Sokofis. But I got it all arranged yesterday. It's very pretty. I'm very excited about it. So I'll share that with you guys. Don't judge me on the amount of shoes though because this one's the small shoe closet. Yes, indeed. Come on, you guys, I'll share. Okay, you guys, this is my spring and summer closet only. Sandals, tennis shoes. So come over here, Harry. Some tennis shoes. Harry's shoes on top. Let me come over here. I'll trade places because there's more shoes, tennis shoes, moccasins, sandals, go up here. I've got my booties across the top. These are all Sokofi booties. This is basing my Sokofi. I've got my moccasins, different moccasins, my sandals all the way across, Sokofi and then some Clarks, and then all my Sokofi flats, right? All the Sokofi flat shoes that I wear, they're all in here. They're all mixed in, my kitty ones, my kitty newsprint ones. Yeah, those are my favorite ones. I love these ones. And then I color coordinate my blouses and my pants. So I've got like purples to blues to browns to yellows to reds to prints to blacks. Then my pants are my blacks. Let me move out so you can do a little bit. There you go. All my colors and then Harry's Hawaiian shirts. He's I'm got stuck quite in a bit. The corner. And then I've got my skorts in the very, very, very corner over there. And this is just my small closet. My, my, my Fluvog and boot collection, it's huge. And it's in a different closet. It's in the guest room. But the guest room, everything that I took out of here and purged is on the guest bed. And it's in a big fat pile that I have to clean. Oh, and this is my little captain I wear. I love this. Shelly got me this one too, you guys. It's so cute. So cute. It's great for around the house. Yep. And I just hang that on a hook. But you guys, this is so nice. I've got just enough room to get to everything. I've got my new pretty sandals. These are my white and pearl ones that I just bought. <laughs> These are my super sparkly navy. Look at those. Oh my gosh, you guys. They're so pretty. So pretty. That I had to go back and buy them in black. Here they are in black. Aren't they gorgeous? They are gorgeous. Woo! And then, of course, the ones I wore the other day to share with everybody. I don't know. They would have been cute with this, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would have been cute. Yeah. And then one more pair of sparklies. But all my sparklies, these are the beige ones, which are the least sparkly but very cute. And very padded, you guys. I'm loving these. I got these all on um, Amazon. I love them. They're beautiful. Anyway, easy peasy. I can color coordinate, grab my pants and my capris, all color coordinated. All my pattern stuff right here. Harry's Hawaiian shirts right here. And all my summer dresses, work dresses, sweaters, and heavy long sleeve shirts that I wear are in my guest closet. But you guys, I just wanted to share this because this is my sandals so Kofi tennis shoe 
collection. Most of my tennis shoes are Vionics. Basically, I got a couple of coach and a couple of kids. But other than that, yes, indeed, this is just part of it. The big collection, my flu vlogs are in the other closet. Yes, indeed. Just sharing. See you guys in the next segment. I know my closet isn't keto bore, but so many people have asked me to share my shoe collection. That's just half of it, not even half of it. What That's, do you mean, not keto bore? I mean, not carnivore, pardon me, pardon me. It's not carnivore, but it's part of our life and so many people want to see my shoes. So that's just part of it. I have a ton of stuff in Arvita. I have to clean her out and get the winter stuff out of her and get her repacked as well. Huh, <sighs> it's one day at a time, one room at a time, one situation at a time. We went to the P.O. box and got mail. Like 30 some dollars or something like that. Okay, let's see what this is. Let's see if I ha has a note first. I like to read the notes. There you go. Oh, Gladys, you are so sweet. <laughs> Dear Wendy, it's time that you learn a sharp and a knife is a safe knife. Gladys. She gave us a knife sharpener, <laughs> which is great because these are good knives. We just need to sharpen it. Oh, so Harry, easy. look. Sharp knives, three slot design, sharpens and restores knives to help them cut like new. Slip resistant rubber base designed to help sharpener stay in place. Easy to use, smart ergonomic design, allow for easy, soft, and comfortable grip. Strong and durable. Well, hold look up, at, so oh, and it's it. red. Wait, wait, hold I can't so get can see wait, it. Wait, wait, I want to open it because it looks like it's supposed to be red. You guys know me in red. Anybody who's a longtime viewer, I love, oh, it's red, Gladys. Thank you so much. Woo, look at that. Ooh, nice. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? And it's red. Oh, and it's got a non-slip grip, which is nice. Yeah, so you can set it down. And Thank you, Gladys, from the bottom of our heart, because all these knives have never been sharpened, and we got them for our wedding gift 39 years ago. Yep. Yes, we did. Your brother gave us this set. Right. We've added a few. My dad's um, fishing knife included, but yep. I think we got the Wolfgang Puck one a little bit later. It may be about 25, 28, 30 years Something like ago. that. Long time ago. Yeah. One of the shopping networks that has Wolfgang Puck in Washington State. Anyway, thank you, Gladys, so very much. I truly appreciate it. I'm excited about that. So, you guys, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to figure out how to use this uh, little device I got for my neck. And Harry will be able to benefit from it as well because of his neck. How do you feel from them manipulating your hip and your, and your leg and such? Fine. My neck is killing me. Is it? Yeah, because I had to put a lot of weight on. He says he's really out of whack. That's yeah. one thing he did say he is. Well, that his that. body, yeah. I'm I, just whack. Harry's out of whack. That's just whack. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Anyway, you guys, I'm excited. I got something really cool, a knife sharpener, and I've got to learn how to work this little thing. Have you guys seen these things? You know, they fit right back here, and they're supposed to vibrate and do all this stuff, or you can wear them this way forward, like this. And it's supposed to work. Oh, that looks great. Let me know if, if you guys... If it doesn't work, you can always wear it as a piece of jewelry. That's right. Let me know if you guys have one. Let me know if you guys bought one. And if you bought one, does it work? That's the important thing. Because you can get them on Amazon. You can buy two for one. You can get a red one and a black one. I didn't know that when I ordered it. And then I found them on uh, Amazon, too. I think they're about the same price. Orthotics. Anyway, you guys... We're going to go ahead and close out. Sorry that this is so short and kind of an oddity today, but this is the day in the life of Harry and Wendy on Hardcore Carnivore, what we do in our daily life, as well as what we eat as well. Now, I do have some of the tri-tip steak left. It's right here. There's three pieces. We do have eggs. If we get hungry, which it's 541, and I don't like eating after 6 at night, right. I am really full. I don't think I'm going to eat. Uh, just call it a lower 
food day, yep. right? Yep. But we do have some, so Harry can have steak, he can have um, turkey, well, I still he can take have another pill tonight, chicken so. tonight. So Harry will be eating more, but I probably won't because I am actually full. I hit a meat wall eating that hamburger patty. I had two bites left that I could not eat. Yep, she smashed up against that wall. I so I did. had to finish it. So Harry had to finish it, and he was a good guy. He finished it perfect for I me. Want, I don't want to throw good food away, you know. Nope, so I nope. I better eat. And Sally perked up a little bit. She came in there when we were eating and looked all innocent and cute. So she got off her couch, and she's moving around a little bit better, so that food is working for her as well. Anyway, you guys. Thank you for joining us today. We truly appreciate it. If you're new and you have not done so already, please remember to like our channel. Also, please remember to subscribe and ring that little bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. If you guys could all give us a thumbs up, that helps us grow our YouTube channel, throws us out to the YouTube universe so other folks like you can find us. Anyway, everybody, we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. I don't think she's coming. She's not coming. She's Sally, not coming. you want to say good night? Is she even over there? Or yeah. Is she outside? Oh, no. Nope. She's right over there. No, nope. she's, she's, she's done. She's done for the day. See you guys later. Bye.